That's it. And if you want to learn more about any of these games, you go to our website. What, what, what is our website? Uh, G4TechTV.com slash XPlay. Good night. Yeah, that's it. Go there. I'm going to be very, very excited for today's show. Why? We're going to review one of the best games we've seen in 2005. Yes, it's hands down the best game for the PS2 released so far this year. And that's not all. We have our review of Tekken 5. Yeah, you guys have been waiting for a verdict on that one, and it's coming up in just a minute. Plus, we also have one of the most amazing looking strategy games we've ever seen. A review of Bro Lancer Generations. And we'll tell you more about Klonoa. <sighs> Do you have it? Could you catch it? And will you wind up spreading it to someone you love? Assuming you love someone. Plus, later in the show, what may be the biggest PS2 game of 2005. God of War. Yes, God of War. Mm. We have a review, so grab your adult diapers now. <laughs> but first, a review of a fighting game you guys have been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for. So let's review it already. Here's Tekken 5. We need online play, people. Just give us the online play. But whatever you do, don't give us Klonoa. Yeah, the game that sounds like it's some sort of venereal disease is back. The first Klonoa broke out on the PlayStation, and we liked it. We really did. Now let's move to the GBA, and it's just as virulent. Here's our review of Klonoa 2, Dream Champ Tournament for the GBA. And Morgan Webb. Wasn't that an ugly kid Joe song? Yeah, it was, and a bad one. Hello, and welcome to X-Play. On today's show, we review a bunch of games, but that's what we do every show, so it shouldn't surprise you. This episode, we'll be giving you our brutally honest opinion on an RPG with a unique manga-influenced art style. And a roll out the kegs for a college-themed Sims 2 expansion pack. Plus, even more games for cheap bastards. And Pokemon Dash, because we have to. And last, but not least, a very cool racing game. It's MX vs. ATV Unleashed. It features great ragdoll physics in a game where you can race everything from airplanes to golf carts. But we begin with a little something for the action RPG fans. If you like Kingdom Hearts, the Disney-based RPG made by Square Enix a couple of years back, you should dig Samurai Legend Musashi. Or Musashi Samurai Legend, or Brave Fence and Musashi 2. This game has about five different titles. And it's also made by Square Enix, the people who make Final Fantasy and, of course, Kingdom Hearts. So does it live up to its pedigree? Find out in our review of Samurai Legend Musashi. Dude, I'm like totally down with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Dude. Hello and welcome to X-Play, the show that brings you brutally honest game reviews. At least that's what our promos say. Right. On today's episode, we shoot a lot of people in SWAT 4, which probably shouldn't be the object of a police game. Just saying. Plus, we ask the tough questions like, what the hell is Yoshi's touch and go? Why do people keep making Ford racing games? And will people like pointing and clicking in moments of silence? Plus, we have another World War II shooting <sighs> game. And you know what? It might be the best one we've ever played. And we've played hundreds, hundreds, you Medal of Honor Battlefield 1942 making bastards. Stop making any more World War II games. Except for the one on today's show, because we really like it. But we begin with a little history lesson for all you bloodthirsty squad-based shooting fans. Yes, in the late 1960s, the LAPD allowed professional police crazy man Daryl Gates to form the Special Weapons and Tactics Team, ostensibly to deal with sniping incidents against civilians and police officers. Years later, this tactical squad became fodder for underwhelming 70s cop shows, and eventually it achieved its own video game series, now in its fourth version. But will the series take casual gamers out back to be shot? Find out in our review. Ready to evacuate. No. The single player mission is enough to recommend this game, but there's also even more to swap for. There's the multiplayer, which is cooperative, obviously, and you also have these assault levels, so you can go in and have a really quick match. I mean, pretty much, since the single player is enough to recommend it, this is just cherry on the whipped cream of police action. Okay. Of course, not every game is full of guns and violence, that's because some games are made by Nintendo. Yes, Nintendo is known for its charming and innocent signature characters, like Donkey Kong, the violent and unpredictable monkey. Mario, the charismatic Italian stereotype. And Kirby, that pink ball that sucks and blows things. Wholesome, every last one of them. Now Yoshi, the cute dinosaur who uncontrollably craps eggs, has a game for the Nintendo DS, and it has a creepy title. Here's a review of Yoshi, Touch and Go. It's actually a very long story. Um, so, you know, there's a mommy and a daddy, and sometimes they love each other very much, and they want to have a little baby mommy and daddy, and she says, 
oh, I need real money, like, really bad. Because she needs money, because she wants to eat, because she's Greek, and she doesn't have any money. So, like, Morgan has no idea where babies come from. I do. I played Yoshi Touch and Go.